welcome back to my channel. I can be a little soft on other videos, but in this video, I'm all hyped up, as you see, because I kind of miss my college. I spunking classes, man, and staying on campus, running away from the principal. That was the coolest shit ever I did with my friends, to be honest. You know, we all wanted a break. We all wanted, like, to sit at home and chill. But we couldn't because there was school shit and work going on. But now, thanks to coronavirus that we are all stuck in our house, that's like the best vacation ever, ain't it? <laughs> I miss some people, you know what I'm saying? And these people were like the prominent features in the college. Make your college an experience to remember. Graduated people, you know what I'm talking about. So, what I would suggest is to go and grab some popcorn. You know, a list of names from your college, okay? And just take mark as I go through some types of people in college that you, you know, won't make it a college. It makes a college a college because these kind of people exist. This is part one because a video is not enough to explain how many people are there in college. How many types? So, the first one we got is fashionista. Like these people, let me tell you, these people don't need your attention. They don't. They don't. They don't want your attention because they got yours. They don't want your attention because they got your attention. You know what I'm talking about? That's complicated. You, 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 these people are like some best dressed people on campus. Like they don't even need to talk to you, but you know that they're there because the outfit is on point. Their outfit is 10 out of 10. Beyonce and Lady Gaga are quick in her boots. No. Get clean. Tell me the first thing you do when you walk in the campus. You walk in the campus, there are four, there's like a group of people standing over there in the corner. There's like your principal who's staring at you because you're late. And then there's that one person who's like, outfit is on point walking right out of the washroom you're gonna you're not gonna look at any of these things happening you're gonna look at that person who's dressed like fine af and just stare at them while you wait for your doomsday coming from both the sides best dressed people their life could be in a mess right now but the outfit just holds them together you know daily walk in the campus they know that the campus is watching them because because let me tell you that outfit is eye-catching like who wouldn't look at a person who's like having you know some fluorescent shoes and like some nice jackets i'm a, I'm a stare i'm a stare who, who doesn't want to see a person who's so good dressed and you know these kind of people they know that they're well dressed and that's why they're gonna survey the campus every two minutes like i'm not even talking about two minutes they're just gonna go in class come back out see if there's people roam the whole campus to make sure that the outfit is known to the whole college that's the glory, I guess. That's the glory, yes. I would stare at someone who's well-dressed, be it a girl or a boy. Call me weird. They could be in prison for God's sake. But no, that outfit sells them. That outfit is gonna make me like them. Oh look, it's her, again, with that skirt. Wait, what shoes is she wearing on that? I wanna see, I wanna see. Oh wow, a combo boot. Damn, that's nice, that's nice. Girl, look at her. I know, right? Yeah, yeah. Why is she posing in front of me? I feel pathetic. Okay, alright. You look good, man. You look good. I know, I know that. Look at me. Shit, yuck. They don't need your opinion. You need theirs. Burn! First, the next type of person you see in college are the hoggers. These kind of people just eat 24-7. Like, you see them in the park, you see them in the examination hall, you see them in the canteen, you see them in the washroom, they will be hogging something down their stomach, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna have like four chicken noodles, eat something in their mouth. They just need to chew on something. You see them in class, they are hogging. The thing about hoggers is that they're so confident in their eating skills. Like they don't mind if people see them hogging down like a big turkey. They will eat it in front of millions of people for the sake of their intestine. Do you remember that kind of people? Hmm? Hmm? They just walk in class with chicken bags in their hand and in front of the teacher and the teacher is like clueless because she doesn't even know what to say. You know the task of eating in class without getting noticed, like that's the best, best.
fresh experience. No, the hoggers are very confident. They don't mind who watches them. They need to eat 24-7. Uh, so class, uh, I remember teaching all of you yesterday about uh, the theory of fruit mind that was in ego and super ego that was the level of consciousness that he divided into. And in psychology, it is very well known. This theory is very well known. And you all have to talk about it. So I remember giving all of you some homework yesterday. And for those who don't finish, don't show me their homework, they'll have to come up on the dice and explain the class whatever I thought in the past. I will pick a random topic, so be careful and hope you all have done your homework. Oh, I think I have enough time on my hands, so I think I would rather pick somebody instead of going to the homework. nonsense and this kind of people are like the most annoying people you've ever met I've ever met like these people can get under your skin and make you feel like getting a desk and throwing on their head something like that you know what I'm talking about you got that you got that you got that yeah these kind of people they're gonna be so annoying that you know you wish you didn't exist in that period and time to you know listen their crap they're gonna just you know, shoot bullshit out of their mouth anytime and anywhere. Like the teacher is gonna be explaining something, and then that person's gonna ask about World War Three. Dude, it, it it didn't even happen. Stupid. All right, students, and that is how Matili happily ever after and challenge showdown did not get another season. Is it okay? Did you guys understand? Okay, and with that, oh, miss. Uh, why, 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 why did the rose poop? Let us. What? Can you answer the question, please? What? Like I don't understand why did the rose poop? If you don't understand what I'm saying, you can leave the class. Okay, St stop asking stupid, annoying questions. Why did the rose poop? What? Somebody please take him to the clinic, he's gone mad. No, 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 it's okay, it's okay, I'm fine. Thank you, thank you. And then, these people are like the annoying ones in class. There are some annoying stupids who just scream in the hallways to grab people's attention and I feel so bad for their friends because they're just like, we don't know him, we're just, we, no, we, we're not, we're not his friends. Think about your friends before you act stupid. I know you think it's cool, but no. Reevaluate. We don't need that annoying ass. And if there isn't any annoying people, you know, then you're the one who's annoying. Preach the truth. These are half of the people that you experience in college, and I kind of miss all of them. I miss all of them. <laughs> and no matter how much I make fun of you guys, I still miss you. I wish college actually starts soon because I'm bored sitting at home and making videos. So, anyways, make sure you like. That's gonna help. Subscribe to that's gonna very much help and comment down below if you remember any kind of people that I've mentioned You know and send this to your class. So So, you know, that's like a hint like yo, that's you, that's you, that's you, that's you Until next time. Bye